Hello? There you are. You know, it's not like you don't have enough time on your hands. Shit. I missed the interview, didn't I? Yeah, by like three hours. It's pretty ironic that someone like you can't handle her time, considering that time is like, you know. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Okay. In my defense, once I finish putting the last bits of math into the code, we should be all set for testing and publication. Yeah, well, there won't be a publication if you don't let me interview you and get a statement. Yeah, I, I know. <sighs> so, Sandra, reporter crap aside, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, yeah, this is a story of a lifetime, but time travel is a massive deal. Well, it's not exactly time travel, but how could this be a bad idea? Look, if we publish this independently, Will your bosses get mad? I mean, you are using their labs after all. Well, yeah, but it's not their discovery. Look, I agree. I just hope they see it that way. I, I guess that's fair, but I'm sure it'll be fine. If you say so. I mean, you are the scientist here. Just answer the questions I texted you in the morning, and we should be set. Okay, I will. Um, I'll see you on Tuesday, right? Well, of course. Just... As long as you don't forget. Awesome. I'll see you then. Have a good night, Ryan. Hey! Are you gonna explain what just happened? No, it's a, it's a long story. Well, make it short. Why was that guy after us? I don't know! You don't know, but you knew he was coming? Well, yeah, it's, it's kind look, of... Look, look. Sandra, just, just talk to me. Not just right to... now! Let's just... As soon as we get to my laptop, everything will make sense. I promise. Okay, okay. Shit. They must have gotten off a floor up. Who was that back there? It's complicated. Oh, come on! It's a CERN agent. Look, that doesn't make any sense. Why would your bosses be trying to kill you? <clears throat> Shit, what happened? Damn. What are you doing? I'm not gonna lose you. Just have to try again. <laughs> 